Hello. Today's story is called Hannah's Introductions. Here was the way I saw Evangeline, writing her stories near the bed on which her father lay dying. Her stories matched her heart at the time, which was sentimental yet curious about how each one would end. Her father, Bocephus, had been a dynamic storyteller, one who would leave audiences wistful and spellbound, yet somehow more in touch with their desires and identity. He could tell them how they were to embrace their callings by virtue of the examples in his tales, and that is how he cared for them. At one point in Bocephus's childhood, there was a farm he visited in California filled with oranges more delicious than any he had ever tasted before. His Aunt Hannah lived on the farm and told him about the days when her family immigrated there from Poland. Hannah was the type who always found the good in every situation, it seemed, and she told Bocephus and his parents this story. Once, as a child in Poland, I asked my mother if I could play with the neighbor's children, to which she said yes, and down the street I went as if I hadn't a care in the world. When I got to the house of my friends, I was confronted by a large hound I had never seen before. His teeth were barred, and his growls increased in ferocity with each passing second. I was scared and thought I should just run home immediately. But then in the window appeared one of my very best friends there, and she told me the dog would not hurt me. He was just protecting her. I trusted her completely and kept walking to her front door, and the dog jumped at me and bit my arm hard. Well, it started bleeding, I started screaming, and the girl screamed and got her mom, who came to my aid as fast as she could. My friend's father came out and said words I'd never heard before, and the mother told him to put the dog down. He took the dog out back with his gun, and I never saw the animal again. My friend's mother carried me in and cleaned me off, and offered me cake that looked very good, but I was crying and shaking so hard I couldn't eat. I asked about it the next day and they brought it to me. She took me to my mother and explained what happened and I got all calmed down eventually. The next day I came to my mother perplexed and said, Maria told me the dog wouldn't hurt me because it wanted to protect her. Why did the dog bite me? My mother said, Maria knew the dog wouldn't hurt her because it wanted to protect her. She assumed the dog knew you were Maria's friend, but no one had introduced you to the dog yet, so he was just doing his job protecting Maria and her family from everybody he didn't know. Do you know what? From that day on, I became the most renowned introducer the world ever knew. First of all, I never trusted someone's head until the owners formally introduced me to it, but with new people I met. It was the same, but even more so. I told where my parents and their parents were from, where I grew up and studied, and why I was coming to see them that day. I became known for my elaborate introductions. That dog had given me a good scare that day, but my introductions got me what I wanted in life, animals and people, to trust and accept me because they knew my story.